Hey guys, it's Rochelle here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do something different on my channel We are going to be making a wig you guys So this wig right here that I'm wearing I made this wig you guys and this is my first time making a customized frontal wig So uh, if you guys want to see how I achieve this wig then please continue to watch All right, so let's make this wig together and today I'm gonna using the Kaleli 100% human hair and the hair texture that I'm using is body wave hair so to make my wig I'm gonna use three bundles and one frontal so this is what the frontal looks like before I customize it now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my bundles because I always wash my hair before I get it installed so even if I get it professionally done or like I'm doing it myself today I'm gonna wash my bundles first and I just use my regular Pantene Pro-V shampoo and conditioner to wash the bundles all right so now that I wash my bundles I'm just gonna put it aside so it can air dry okay so moving on to the frontal first thing I'm gonna grab is aluminum foil and I'm gonna grab a mixing bowl and I'm also gonna grab the clear all BW2 uh, powder lightener and salon care volume 40 developer and this is what i'm going to use to bleach the knots on my frontal to get rid of those little tiny black dots that we don't want so i just lay out the aluminum foil all over my kitchen counter because i do not want to make a mess in my kitchen you guys please wear your gloves when you're doing this because you're working with bleach and a lot of chemical and stuff so i'm just going to apply some of that uh clear all bw into the bowl and then i'm going to add my 40 developer honestly i don't really measure this i just use quite a bit of powder because i want the cream developer and the powder to mix very very thick almost like toothpaste now before i bleach the knots on my frontal you guys i've destroyed many frontals because i try to bleach the knots but i picked this up on youtube i'm not exactly sure where i've seen this on youtube but i use the got to be free spray and i'm just going to apply this all over my lace frontal so i apply it on the front on the back and this is just going to act as a shield so when i apply the bleach all over it it's only going to bleach the frontal lace and not the actual hair now you guys i'm really really sorry i didn't get to show you guys me applying the bleach onto the frontal because i lost that clip like i'm so 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 sorry that i lost that video clip i don't know what happened to it but i cannot find it but basically all i did was apply the cream the bleach all over the frontal and i let it stay for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then i wash it off there's a lot of videos on youtube on how to bleach your knots on your frontal so you can go ahead and check those out so this is pretty much what it looks like right now once it's bleached it looks kind of orange we don't like that orange look so i'm going to use these shimmer lights and this this is a toner shampoo and conditioner and I'm just going to apply this all over the lace and this is just going to get rid of that ugly orange so I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes okay so now we're gonna go ahead and rinse the shimmer lights out and look at that frontal it's looking really good you guys I got rid of all the black dots okay so now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to apply that lace frontal onto our wig head and i'm using these t-pins so these are wig t-pins you can get these at amazon or beauty supply store i'll put the link to where i get everything in the description bar down below and you want to get your tweezer because we're about to tweeze the heck out of this frontal you guys and you guys honestly i am no expert when it comes to this stuff this is my first time making my customized frontal wigs i've made wigs before but never a uh, lace frontal i've done lace closures but anyways i'm just gonna go in with my rat tail comb and i'm gonna part it and then i'm just going to tweeze behind the hairline and we want the hairline to look as natural as possible you guys and you really want to take your time with this you guys because you don't want to over tweeze the wig and then you have bald spots in your wig and that is not a good look it's happened to me before when i've tweezed my hairline but i think i did pretty good today you guys and honestly you guys this is pretty time consuming like i think it took me like maybe an hour to tweeze like it takes a while but just take your time with it so right now it's looking pretty good but once my wig was completed i actually went back and tweezed some more so as you can see this is my wig when it's completed and i just tweezed it a little bit more while it's on my head that way i can really tell if i did a good job on the hairline 
to make your wig you're going to need a weave needle and some weave thread okay so you can get this at any beauty supply store sally's amazon and you're going to need a wig cap so i'm using a mesh dome style wig cap and i'm going to put this on my wig canvas head so uh the wig canvas head that i'm using it's about 21 inches which is the same size as my head you want to make sure you measure out your head first before you make your wig that way your wig fits perfectly now i'm going to apply that lace frontal onto my wig head and we're going to pull it for just half an inch because we want to make sure that when the wig is completed it fits perfectly on our head and we have a little room to pull that uh, lace down when we're applying our wig now i'm going to apply the t-pins into the wig and if you struggle with how to measure your head or trying to figure out the size of your head honestly guys there's so many videos on youtube on how to measure your head i will link some down below and they're very helpful now i know she's looking a little crazy in the front but don't worry about that it's gonna look completely normal once the wig is completed all right so now we're gonna do the really hard part like this is really hard no i'm just kidding it's not that hard it's actually kind of easy so i'm gonna go ahead and do some sewing so we're gonna start sewing this frontal down and i kind of start from the top and make my way down to the side I completely forgot to mention to you guys the frontal that I'm using it's a 20 inch frontal and it is a body weave hair so I'm just going to sew it until I reach the other end of the frontal and then once I get to the end I cut it with the scissors and I tie a knot that way it doesn't come undone all right so now we're gonna go in with the first tracks so remember the bundles that we washed earlier okay so this is it right now we're gonna apply this onto the wig head and i'm gonna apply my t-pins in it also to hold them into place while i sew the track down you just have to watch and see what i'm doing i'm literally just sewing all the tracks down and i'm going across with it and when I'm sewing, I try to keep my stitching nice and flat and really neat because I don't want my wig to look lumpy and bumpy because that's just not a cute look. Now, instead of cutting the weft, I'm just going to go ahead and fold it. And then I'm going to put my T-pins back in it again just to keep it in place. And then I'm going to start sewing again and making sure that my stitchings are nice and flat. I like to fold it instead of cutting the weft because I don't want my hair to be shedding a lot. Because when you cut the wefts, I find that they shed a lot more. So I don't cut it until I reach to the top. So guys, there's not really much more to explain to this. But just sewing the wig and just taking your time with it. Um, some people are obviously a lot faster because they're used to making wigs. I'm not. I'm a newbie to this. So honestly, it took me a few hours. Okay, like I was super slow, but it looked pretty good in the end. But yeah, I'm just going to play some music and you guys can just watch me sew this wig together. <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm closer to the very top, I'm not going to do the fold over method anymore because I don't want my wig to be lumpy and bumpy at the top. So I cut the webs and I go across. So I start sewing them across. And again, you just want to make sure that the webs are nice and flat and you are sewing them down neatly because you don't want it to be bumpy at the top because you will see it and you will feel it and it just doesn't look right. All right, you guys, 10 hours later. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't 10 hours, but it was quite a few hours. It took me a while, but we are at the very top. The wig is pretty much completed. All right, so now that we're done stitching the wig, this is what it looks like. And look how neat that is. Like, I did a pretty good job with the sewing, you guys. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut this little mesh part off because we don't need that part anymore. Like, this is not needed. It's not necessary anymore. So I'm just going to go in with my scissors and cut it. And you can actually use the band on this as the band to hold your wig in place and keep it secure i don't really like using these bands but if you don't have the elastic band um you can go ahead and use this however i bought elastic bands and i got them from amazon like i got a pretty big roll and i'm just gonna use that because i just like the way the elastic bands feel in my wig it just feels a lot more secure i find all right so i'm just gonna apply that elastic band on the inside of my wig and i'm just going to be sewing this across and this is just going to keep that wig nice and secure on my head when we apply it 
So you guys, I actually went back in with the tweezer and I did a little bit more tweezing because I felt like she wasn't looking as natural as I wanted her to look in the hairline. But yeah, she's starting to look good right now. As you can see, look at that hairline. She's looking cute. Um, you guys, so I cut off the excess lace. This part was really hard for me to do on camera because I did not have a mirror. I was literally looking through the viewfinder of the camera. So I had to step off camera to cut the lace off because I did not want to destroy this wig after taking so long to make it. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and style this hair. I'm going to grab my blow dryer and blow out the hair. This is pretty much what the hair looks like in its natural state. And I'm going to go ahead and use some styling products as well. I'll list the name of the product in the description bar down below. I don't really use a lot of product in my weave, my hair, my wigs. <laughs> and I'm going to take my flat iron and I'm just going to straighten the hair. And you guys, this hair straightens really, really good. The texture feel amazing. I'm also going to go in with my hot comb because I want to make sure that when I apply this wig, she is laid and she is flat. I don't want my wig to look bulky on the top. All right, you guys, so now that you've seen what it looks like straight, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna curl this hair up, you guys. Now, I'm no expert when it comes to styling my wigs. I usually get them professionally done. I, you know, I try and do my little thing, but I wanna get better at doing hair, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna use my Remington curling one, and I'm just going to wrap the hair around the one and hold it for maybe 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna go in and make some curls with my hand, and then I'm going to pin the curls up and I leave the curls I leave them curled up for like probably half an hour after I curl the whole thing and this step is pretty much repetitive I'm just using the curling one and then I'm clipping the curls and I let it stay for about half an hour and then I take the curls down and you guys I really really love how this hair curls I love the quality of it now I'm gonna go in with my blade and cut some little tiny baby hairs at the front of the wig that's gonna help to hide our lace now this is pretty much what the wig looks like actually these curls were like a day old because i filmed this part like the next day but you guys look at that frontal like she's looking really good now i know it looks crazy because i haven't glued it down but i do have a video on how i apply my wigs and what i use to apply my wigs and it's a lot more detail so you can check out that video i'll link it in the description bar down below but yeah this is pretty much the wig i think i did pretty good for my first time making a customized front wig what do you guys think and let me know if you want to see more hair videos i'm thinking about doing something colorful next time so yeah comment down below let me know what you guys want to see what color i should try and i'll see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys so so much and thank you so much for watching